Hello everyone, it's Nady, and today we're testing out this You Spicy Hair Straightening Brush. As you go, just people know this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy, okay? Thank you. I did receive this item from You Spicy for free, thank you baby, but that does not mean that I won't give you my 100% honest opinion. This does retail for $39, I'll be sure to link you down below to this item, but honestly, 39 bucks for a hair straightening tool isn't that bad. Like, I paid over $60 for a flat iron, that shit is expensive. So little mini story time, I actually grew my hair out to test a product just like this. Like, I'd seen somebody use it and I was like, I want to do that. But I have very curly hair, that's why I wanted to do it. Right now it's not super curly because I did a hair treatment, so it's just like this, which... Uh, please lie and make me feel better. Tell me I don't look like a mushroom-topped mop head. Right now it's actually not as curly as it used to be. This is how curly it used to be. But like a lot of people with curly hair, I long to have straight hair. Like Joey Graceffa looking hair, I just fucking want that. I don't know if this will get me there, but we can at least try. Let's open this bitch up. Ooh, shit, that's pretty. Pretty. This device comes with a lovely little heat glove, two alligator clips, a little cleaning brush, and the directions say simply plug it in and adjust it to the desired temperature. We are supposed to use this when our hair is completely dry. The temperature nozzle does lock into place, setting it at that temperature, and it does have an automatic off at 30 minutes, so good ain't gonna be no house fires today, baby. Okay, all right, here we go. Good God, a long ass cord. I could plug this in in my bathroom and straighten my hair in my living room. Okay, I pushed the power button and nothing is happening. What did I do wrong? Because knowing me, I've probably already broken it. Oh, press and hold the power button. There we go. Let's do 350. Why does it keep locking? Oh my God, this is heating up so freaking fast. This is... Woo! I'm setting this to 350. I feel like that's an okay temperature. It shouldn't fry my hair too badly, but after three seconds, it is locking into place so I can do this and it doesn't change the temperature at all. And then once I do want to adjust it, I just push that twice and I can put it to whatever the fuck I want. This doesn't feel too hot. Like I can put my hand on there without it burning me, but oh, something smells burning. It's probably my flesh. But because I want an MJ moment, I'm going to wear my one glove. <laughs> my hair is not quite long enough to put in a ponytail, but we can at least try to clip this back just like... <sighs> Hmm. I look like a fucking chicken. Oh, there we go. Should we leave it like this? Hi. <laughs> this does feel pretty warm. I'm just going to take this front clump of hair and we'll try to put it right in there. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I have bangs from the fucking 80s. <laughs> Let's try this again. I'm just going to go back. Oh. Okay. Okay, new plan. Just because I'm really curious, I want to try running it just through my hair just to see if that does anything. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is giving me like serious Liberace vibes. I'm going to try to kind of hold the hair against it and just pull it up. This is straightening my hair so freaking quickly. Like had I done this with a normal straightening flat iron, this would have taken me like a good half an hour, but it's legit been like two and a half minutes. And no, it's not like that Pantene commercial straight because my hair isn't long enough, but I feel like if you went like this with your long hair, it would take like seconds and your whole hair would be done. I kind of look like Christian Siriano from Project Runway. See, a little bit, maybe just a little. All right, so this definitely did straighten my hair and it doesn't feel fried at all. It feels exactly the same way that I left it. It doesn't have like that kind of gritty rough texture to it that I often get with normal flat irons. And right now I'm just kind of brushing it through randomly just to add a little bit of texture to it so that it kind of falls in different places. I actually think though I'm gonna style this in my normal way so I will be right back. And here we are with the final look. I did kind of fuck it up a little bit over here but that's my own fault this was so freaking easy and simple to use like if you're looking for a quick and safe way to straighten your hair i totally recommend this you know i would never lie to you and 40 dollars is a lot of money but i think this is definitely worth it like i said before i will leave you a link to this in the description box but there you go don't forget my latest single one last night is available everywhere online that music is sold thank you so much to everyone who's supporting it comment down below let me know what you thought of this video don't forget to like and subscribe you can follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter at official Lady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.